Org Framework tutorial series. Today I'm going to cover a requested video that uh, will be a short primer for the new UI with the Org Framework. So as you can see here, this is the new UI currently active in play mode. And this is basically what I'm going to walk you through, how I did this, made this happen, even how I got it centered. So a lot of this stuff works similarly to how the UI normally does with uh, GUI skins. It's just um, what you want to do is use prefabs for everything. So these are a list of prefabs you can get. Not really a list, but these are some assets you can get from the tutorial section of the website. And I'll have a link in the description of the video so that you can download these assets and use them for yourself so you can get an idea of how you want to build these prefabs, some of the details that you want when you're creating your own content, box prefab, things like that. Um, and if you do need to learn how to use the Unity uh, new UI, I would suggest um, I will have a link for the 3D Buzz video that I used to learn how to use the UI. It covers a lot of the stuff you're going to use, some animation, things like that. And there's also a lot of really good resources just on the Unity site as well that uh, are also, they also have links in the same place you can download these assets. So you, you'll be able to access that all from the link that I'll attach in the description of the video. Okay, so like anything else, First thing we have to do, since this is a completely blank slate project, um, is you want to add an org game starter. And the way that you do that is uh, you use this org scene wizard. You don't have these tabs here, or you don't have these windows floating around somewhere or attached anywhere else. Um, you want to go to window, and they're right here. And you can just dock them up, or dock them in the middle, you can dock them anywhere you want, where you feel comfortable. You can access these pretty quickly, and they can, they're also out of the way when they're docked like this. So, scene wizard create game starter. That's what we did right there. Let's see, it's org project, call main menu. You have to do this or you, know, you can't test the new UI through the org framework. It's all driven basically from that element. So once that's done, head over to the framework. Okay, you just want to go all the way to the right here, which is menus. Open this up. And uh, main menu settings, the very first button. Head over to the right, you'll see that there's all these base settings and everything. Let's just go ahead and close these down so we can see kind of all the options we have. So for the base settings, you want to change this right here where it says GUI system type. This is legacy. This is what it will be by default. Change it to new UI. This will activate Orc's ability to utilize new UI elements and prefabs for your game. So once that's done, you don't really need to mess with any of this stuff. You can kind of leave it all the way it is. Um, you can add some default GUI stuff, but we don't really need to do that. As well as uh, you really don't need to use actually any of this stuff. It just changes the new UI. Once that's done, head on over to main menu. And you want to change this where you'll see a main menu scene. Now mine's called main menu. And that's because if you look in your assets, or for me it's in my assets, I don't have a scenes folder for this particular project, but this is my main menu. So that's what the main menu scene is for me. It's called main menu. Um, single scene load. Don't need to load async because there's no other scenes in this game. And don't need to worry about new game settings because I'm not going to uh, progress any further with this particular tutorial. So once you have that done, you see here this, there's this option. You don't have this yet. So let's go down before we go any further. Let's go down to GUI boxes. Here in GUI boxes, this will really start building the uh, new elements and um, incorporating them into Orc. So, if once you have this downloaded and imported, new, new GUI, don't worry about fonts or textures, go right into prefabs. These textures are here basically for the prefabs. So, look at like the button and it's got have all this stuff that you see and the way it changes. That's all based off of, uh, let's get right here. So, in here, this is, these are the items that you're going to be needing, that you would be using. And these are also a really good example of how to build your own prefabs and a good kind of starting off point so that you don't have to do these all over again. So this is a good content field or you know um, content box basic setup right here with these sort of settings, the way Org works. I mean you can change some of these things here and that sort of works, but other than that, yeah, this is all pretty good stuff right here to at least to start off with on your own stuff. So once we have all these things in here, 
Um, what you want to do is you want to change the name. It should say default for you, default box or default something. Just go ahead and write here the name, change it to main menu. GUI layer, leave that. We're not going to touch that. Hide just change to auto so that no matter how many choices you add or anything you do, the GUI box or the content box will adjust as needed. This is, this is also very familiar to how the GUI works, right? So once you have all that put in there, you want to, this may be unselected for you. So go ahead and select all skins. And what we're going to use for this particular tutorial is we're going to use this content box. Put that right in here, content box prefab. We're not going to worry about name box, and we're going to use button settings. That's pretty much it. So, because all, all, all we're doing is a main menu, so it has a content box and some choice settings, some choice buttons. That's really all we need there. GUI skins, which this is not the correct name. It should be new UI prefabs or something else, right? It's That's probably one of the confusing things for people with this whole thing, is that this is GUI skins, but these really aren't skins, they're prefabs. So once we're done there, we want to come down here to uh, content box settings. So the X and Y I have here are to center the box because it is set up uh, in the center. It's anchor point, sorry. So right here, I set my anchor point up to middle center. And this is where it is for the prefab. You can adjust things here, but I mean, I want to use my stuff in the center of the boxes anyways. It makes more sense for me. But if it makes more sense for you to do it differently, in one of the bottom corners, the top corners, go ahead and do that. 640 by 400 or 640 and 400 will put you dead center in the screen. I'm using 16, uh, I'm using a 16 by 9 ratio. So, uh, padding I put 10 pixels. You don't need to worry about line space. Do show boxes. You do want to see the content box for this particular example. And then um, a 300 by 200. This number isn't really too important. These are the numbers that kind of were there already. I didn't necessarily find a way to add these myself. So you can put your one in there. However, before uh, in the other settings, you saw that we had it auto-adjust, so it will auto-adjust to the buttons regardless. This is really completely necessary. Um, I didn't really mess with any of these things to get that menu the way it is. And then uh, name box settings also didn't really mess with because we're not doing a name box. Choice settings. Here's um, next place you might want to mess with. So I'm going to use list. These, if you need to know what the rest of these are, just go ahead and look over here to the left while this is um, highlighted. You can see like what each of those things are. We're going to leave the list. 10 for spacing on everything, 10 for padding on everything. Um, go down here. So content vertical alignment, text alignment. I don't have my text in the middle. It's fine for me. The rest of this stuff doesn't really do much for what we're doing. So I'll just change these to uh, center and middle so that my text is right down the middle. Uh, text format, you don't really have to worry about that unless you want to change your font or things like that. But we're just going to use the standard unit if you want, which is Arial. Uh, title setting, don't worry about that. Choice selection, don't worry about that. So if you do want to, put, like, if you do want to adjust your buttons to a specific height, that's where you do this right here. Choice, width, and height under GUI boxes. You do it here, define height, define width, adjust height. This is where you can change those settings manually so that you can have square buttons or rectangle buttons or whatever kind of button you're looking for. And we don't need to worry about tab settings, and I think that will be it for the... Yep, so that's it for GUI boxes. So let's head back up to main menu. Now that we finish GUI boxes, you'll see here in this GUI box that you'll have a drop down that should say main menu now, or it'll just change automatically. You say default box. Once that's done, you just want to flip that over, and this is where we're going to define what the buttons say. Now, the standard is that your new game says new game, and your load game says load game, and your exit says exit, and that's completely fine for this tutorial, so we're going to leave all that stuff. I had a description, not necessary at all. So load game, new game, and exit. And once all that's done, you don't have to worry about any of this other stuff, go ahead and save your settings, mine's already done, then just go ahead and hit play. What we should have is Boom, a centered main menu that should work. So oh, there we go, oh, yeah, it works. I mean, nothing obviously is going to happen because there's no other scenes. Right there, and you see that the buttons highlight that they're supposed to. So if we click this guy right here, you can see that normal color, highlight color, pressed color, and it does lighten up. So it's all very, very minor, but yeah, it happens. You press it. 
turns black for a second. So all that stuff's there, it's all working, and that will complete this video. Remember to like and subscribe if you do like these videos. I keep I try to make them as often as possible, and please head over to the Patreon page. Any support you can give is always appreciated. I'm going to be making some adjustments to it so that it's sort of just, if you can help, uh, there's only going to be one option, that's a dollar a month, and I'm also going to be removing uh, at 1,000 subscribers on Patreon, I'll be removing all ads, and I'm also removing the 720p max for recordings, they'll all be 1080p now, so 1080p, 60 frames a second kind of stuff, all right? So thanks for watching, and I will see you guys in the next video. Have a great evening.